Hey guys, it's AlphaTuber Elite here, and today I'm doing an overview on how to make a hopper. Um, the hopper is one of the things in Nerf that you use for a lot of homemades and um, a lot of also modded guns. It allows rapid fire movement. It's basically a gravity fed clip that feeds the darts on an angle down into here and out through this tubing. Uh, what I'm going to go over today is what you need to make it, um, and also how to make the barrel, because that is a very important part of how to make a hopper. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to need is some PVC pipe, um, which is what I have right here. I use clear PVC pipe because it allows me to see how many darts I have left and I also have it sanded down um, so that from afar it's extremely difficult to see how many darts I have left except from up close it's extremely easy to see how many darts I have left so that's why I use this sanded uh, PVC this is also marked the half point and the full point so I know when I see a dart here I know how many darts I have left for this size clip. This size clip holds about, I'd say, 8 to 10 darts depending on the dart size. The next thing you're going to need is some sort of piece to allow you to put darts in. So that goes up here on one side of the clear PVC or just PVC. I prefer to use a ball valve um, because they're extremely easy. Um, to reload, just pop it open like that, load the darts in that side, and you're good to go. Um, there are two different ball valve methods you can use. You can either use a three-quarter inch ball valve, um, but the only problem with that is sometimes they're hard to twist, so that does uh, have a problem. It presents a problem in itself. What I prefer to do is get a one-half inch ball valve. First of all, they're about two bucks cheaper. Um, they're about three bucks, and a three-quarter inch is about five bucks, so they are cheaper. And also, if you drill out this inside piece, you open the ball valve up, so it's this line, this uh, red thing, or whatever color it is on yours, is parallel with the rest of the ball valve. And then you drill out this middle part with a half inch, or no, sorry, scratch that, with a five-eighths inch drill bit, so it's a little bit bigger than a half an inch drill bit. Uh, what it does is it opens this hole up so darts no longer get stuck when you're loading them and it also makes it extremely easy to twist it as you can see I'm almost putting no effort whatsoever and I'm twisting it back and forth uh, this is also my bad hand I'm a lefty so in a war I would actually have it twisted around this way oh no no no, no never mind it's twisted like this I'm shooting my gun I need to reload, just pop it like that. That's how easy it is. Put the darts in, bam, close it. Still, even though I drilled it out, it has a perfect air seal. No air can get out. Um, it has my, I'll show you a firing test after I'm done this video. But um, even when I plug the, pl plug the end of the barrel on my hopper, and I, um, there's no, it still has like a perfect air seal in my blaster. No air leaks out of this top part. So the next thing you're going to need for the hopper is a Y. Um, I just use a regular half inch Y. I haven't ever ordered any Ys off of uh, Flex PVC because shipping is extremely expensive. Um, but I have two Ys. I only use one. Um, so yeah, I have two of these. And what it does is this is basically the heart and soul of your hopper. It puts, it redirects the darts going from a 45 degree angle to a perfectly flat, uh, no angle. So, uh, what you're going to want to do is just get a short stub of half inch PVC, stick it in the back, and you can either super glue it in, um, I have a screw through it, and the screw is using a tap. So um, it actually threads it for the screw so that um, there's no air leak through the actual screw. 
so that's good. It's, it's not coming off, and it's just enough so that it goes into my blaster and it doesn't wobble or come out, but it's not too long that it gives too much dead space from here to here where it actually hits the dart. So that's always a good thing. Um, the last thing, and probably, here I'll put this on quick. The last thing, and probably the most important thing, is the barrel. Um, I'm going to be going over how to make a hopper barrel in a uh, shortened down sense in a minute. But for right now, this is the hopper barrel, and it just goes on to the front piece like that. Um, there are many different variations. You can use pet G. Uh, people use brass nests uh, nested inside uh, different forms of PVC. Uh, I just prefer CPVC. It's cheap, easy to get, and um, it fits well into this. And all of my guns are springers. I nope. Don't use any air guns that are hopperable. I use a Panther, but that's the only air gun that I would use in a war that uh, is an air gun. I wouldn't use any others. You saw my other video, my scepter, but I don't use that. There's not even a pump handle on it. So, this, that's why I prefer to use CPVC because it is a perfect fit for my type of darts. I use um, gray Home Depot foam or McMaster foam. I use both. Right now I'm using McMaster foam because I got a bunch of it really cheap from a fellow nerfer. So, yeah. But it's a perfect fit for my darts. And it also serves as a really nice um, and cheap, easy method to make a hopper. So I'll stop this part of the video and I'll show you. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, don't mind my workshop. It's really messy at the moment. Um, I really have to clean it up. But, um... Yeah. So this is what you need to make. This is CPVC. Uh, I just have this little this piece. I'm just gonna make a shortened hopper, um, just because I don't want to waste all this CPVC just for a little video like this. So I'm gonna use a little bit of CPVC. Um, so I'm just gonna cut that on my bandsaw. Wait, let me get rid of these darts. So I'm going to cut that on my bandsaw quick using one hand, which is not advisable. Always use two hands when using machines. Okay, here's a little stub I have. Um, this will be, this should be longer for your hopper. Um, but for mine right now, I'm just I just I literally just made a new hopper barrel, so I don't want to waste any more CPVC. But um, that is what you need in terms of CPVC. You need this to be as long as you want your barrel to be. Right now, I have a 15-inch barrel on mine. Um, I do need a range test and cut that down to the right measurement for my pump snap. I already have one that's the right measurement for my snap bow, except uh, different blasters, different draw, different type of uh, stuff gives you different results. So that's the first thing you need is a piece of CPVC as long as your barrel. Mine's only a little bit. It's only about like four inches. But next thing you're going to need is I already have some cut out right here. Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. Um, just some one half inch PVC. Uh, I'm going to cut it a little bit, but I don't need to cut that much. So... Um. Okay, so I have this little stub of uh, PVC. Just get all the brush the hairs out of there. And what you're gonna want to do, this is what I do. Um, you can also use that 5 8 inch drill bit, like I said before. You can use that and um, just drill out the center part, and it'll slide right over the CPVC. It'll slide right over it. But um, what I like to do is I like to use a Dremel. And um, I have to clamp this in place because I'm doing one hand. So, a little more. Sorry if this is boring. Uh, I gotta get it the right size. Uh, just 
just gotta twist that. Alright. I just got a new dermal bit, so. This is a uh, stone sander. It's a little noisy. Actually, no, not for this part, but for the part next to it, it will be a little noisy. Oops. German was on medium. Let's turn up to high. Sand out the inside a little bit, and whoops, CPVC. Uh, CPVC should fit. Yep, CPVC fits inside there um, a little bit. Now what you're gonna want to do? So I'm gonna clamp it down again. Whoops. All right, wait, I just gotta. Okay. Now that it's clamped down, I'm gonna get a hammer. I have this thing though, right here and just hit the PVC on the top bam the PVC is now flush with the CPVC as you can see so that's good uh, this next step requires the Dremel again and this is the loud step now basically what I just did is I made it so that this isn't coming off because I hammered it in it's not going anywhere but now it can fit inside the end of the one half inch Y. I just used a uh, gray conduit pipe for that because it is, um, it seems to grip the PVC a little bit more, so I have less um, barrel explosions, which is always a good thing. Alright, for this next step, again, I have to do this. This is the loud step. I'm just, I have to sand out just that tip of that to work. So, this is going to squeak a little bit, just because it's the bit I have. Okay. Now, that's not sanded out nearly enough. Um, okay. This is a lot easier with two hands. But, next, you're going to... Um, want to ream out the insides. What I use is this piece. This is a pipe cutter. Um, it cuts pipe, but if I flip this, let me just show you something. If I flip out the inside, it has a little ream thing. Um, and it actually reams out hopper barrels perfectly. This one I just made. I made another one because the feeding on my other one was a little off, but this one feeds the makes the dart feed so smooth and what you're going to want to do I can't do this with one hand so I'm going to have to stop again but you want to put it in there until it, far goes, until it goes all the way in and then just twist it so it basically reams the stuff out you can also use scissors but this is a lot faster and easier alright that took me about 20 seconds and now you can see it's reamed out a lot more the only problem is that's just the little front part you still need some room that goes down. So that, for that, I'm going to go back to the Dremel. And this is, I'm barely going to touch it at all. Just the inner parts that go deeper to make it a little bit smoother. This is going to be a little squeaky again. That's it. And that is how you make a hopper barrel. Um, I'll show you a dart feed right here. The darts there and it just pushes right in very easy I'm putting almost putting a little pressure enough to make it not double feed but it fits almost perfectly in there uh, let me just take it out so I don't waste the dart but yeah this is the gray McMaster foam with a black tip that I used before and yeah this is how that's how you make a hopper barrel with the insides reamed out um, as you can see, this is now all filled with the white ream stuff. But, yeah, so here, once you have that, attach it onto the front piece right there, and you will have a finished hopper clip. 
Um, yours will just be a lot, a lot longer than what mine would be with that. But I'm using again. I'm using a 15-inch barrel for my snap, our pump snap. But that's not done yet. I still need the thin wall. So right now, I'm actually going to use my snap bow to test it for you guys. So uh, I'll come back in a sec. Hey guys, I'm back here, and if you notice, it's a different day. Um, it didn't record the last segment of my last clip for some reason, um, so I have to completely re-record it. So, all it was was a firing test with the hopper clip that I just made um, using Stefan's with my snap up. So, just you open the ball valve like I said before, and you load the Stefan's in. I dropped one. You load them in. One by one. I'll be doing this faster in a war, but just for this right now, I can do it slow. So there we go. It takes nine to fill up my hopper. So that's um, a good number to know. Pull it back like that. Well, that's how I do it. And then. So this barrel was 15 inches. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it 15 inches or shorten it. Um, the way I'm going to test it is make another barrel the exact same as this one. Um, and I'm just going to go outside and shoot it. I'm going to measure the ranges on three darts with the same hopper clip, the same darts. And then I'm just going to cut off an inch after each three shots. And then I'm going to see what length shot the furthest, then I'm going to put that length of a barrel, then I'm going to cut this down to that length, and we should be good to go for a hopper clip. So, thank you for watching this video, guys. Um, it's been, I hope you guys learned how to make a hopper clip. That was the point of the video. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it, guys. I'll see you guys later.